So how many of us in here, um, how many of you guys take a hot minute, like it takes you a good while to pick out your outfit in the morning? Anybody, anybody, long time it takes you? How many fast dressers do we have in the morning? Like you already know, just get it to me and we gotta go, oh, okay, I, that's, oh, that's a lot of you in this room. That's kind of surprising, I'm in. How many of you pick out your outfit the night before? Any night before? Okay, okay. I used to have to do it with one of my children because it was like, we gotta go. Um, interesting that the night before, a little bit in the morning, some of us are just immediate and we throw it on. There's no thought process to it. We just, yeah, that shirt, that pants, we out. We're good to go. But there's still some sort of a thought process to us putting our clothes on in the morning. Anybody ever walked out of their house butt naked? Oh, okay, good. Oh, we got one in the house. One in the house. But we think about that, you're like, oh shoot, I forgot my shoes. And like, you know, you get part way out there and you're like, I gotta come back in and put them on, right? If we notice something, we come back in and we put it back on. But there's never a moment that we just get up, take our shower, get the keys, get in the car and just drive to work without anything on. We take a moment to put clothes on. We take a moment to, to pick and choose how we're going to dress ourselves um, and look for the day. And sometimes we may run into things that are unexpected. Uh, I was in Dallas, Texas, if you remember, not too long ago. And there you can dress hot, but then it rains. So you don't always have an umbrella that you are carrying with you unless obviously you're from that area, y'all carry it like in the trunk or something. But here in Fresno, it's not very often that it's 105 and then it downpours. So sometimes we have these unexpected things, right, where we think we're dressed for the appropriate time, we're, we're dressed for the appropriate weather happenings, um, but that's not it. Something else changes and we adjust quickly, right, to put on what needs to be or get what we need to have. And so just like I mentioned that some of us, one of us, has walked out the door with a whole lot of nothing on, you know, God is challenging us with this scripture that a lot of us are walking out of our houses unprotected. And I'm not talking about what your clothes you put on, your pants, your shoes, what your fit looks like. I'm talking in a spiritual sense. We get up, we do our routine, and we head out the day, and we forget that there is this really big piece. <laughs> There's this armor that God has given us that we're supposed to put on every day. And we're walking around unprotected. We're walking around allowing the enemy to infiltrate in our families, in our finances, in our homes, in our marriages, in our friendships, in our jobs. because we've either forgotten to put it on, or I'll even toss in this part, we've been putting on something else. We've allowed something else to be the armor that protects us from whatever it is that the enemy is tossing at us. And so we've been wearing something that actually wasn't made for you or fit for you. It may be clanky, it may be heavy, and you're like, oh my gosh. But all the while you think it's protecting you. It's not protecting you. Ish is barren weight. So today, this morning, I want to talk about stopping the part of us being unprotected. Adjusting the armor that either you have failed to put on daily or that you've been putting on random pieces of other things to try and protect yourself. Protect your family, protect your finances, whatever it is. It's time to take that off and actually put on what God has given you. And I wanna, I wanna hit that a little bit. Hmm. Yeah. I love that Pastor Rini, this last like three weeks, he's been talking about spiritual disciplines. How many of you guys have been here when we've been talking about spiritual disciplines? We've been talking about getting in the word. We've been talking about praying. We've been talking about worship. We've been talking about fasting. Oh my gosh, fasting. We've been talking about confession. Oh, so good. And now I'm going to transition to you. We've been talking about these spiritual disciplines, and we need them. We need them to grow us from the inside out. And then we need to put on this armor too. So you see these spiritual disciplines grow us so we know how to fight. The armor says, oh, I got you. It's like double layered. You can't go wrong. And so we have to remember that as we're transitioning in and we're talking about the armor that we've got this morning, um, 
I love that literally in the first sentence that it comes out that Paul is talking. He's talking about this and he's writing this as he is literally sitting chained to a, a guard. And he's been sitting there. And throughout the whole book of Ephesians, he is literally talking about spiritual battles, the entire chapter. If you haven't read the book of Ephesians, go read it. It's six chapters, easy breezy, lemon squeezy. But go read it. And in every one of the chapters, he is literally making reference about the battles and the things that are facing us. And it has nothing to do with the person sitting next to you. It has nothing to do with the person who reigns and rules over your city. It has nothing to do with the person you may rent from. It has nothing to do with your boss. But it has everything to do with the schemes of the enemy and how he is trying to do his best at any cost, at any cost, to deceive you and to deceive you in every area that can possibly be. To get you sideways, confused, upside down, all the different things. And if he can deceive you in one place, he'll deceive you in another and another and another and another. And all the while, it's just because we're walking around unprotected. All the while, it's just because we're walking unprotected. But literally, the coming out verses, it says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Not your might, but his might. Put on the whole armor of God. Not your armor, but God's armor that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. Life is a battle against spiritual forces, and it continues in verse 12, and it says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Paul is weaving this all the way through this entire book, which I definitely love. Schemes of the enemy. Has anyone here ever had someone scheme against you? This means like they're plotting, they're trying to get at you, like just hounding you about things like over and over and over again. Anybody ever had something? Okay, cool. I'm not the only one in the room. Awesome. Sweet. And here's the thing. Maybe you're not even aware that he's scheming at you, which we should be because he always is. There's nothing in scripture that says that the enemy is not going to just take it easy on you. There's nothing easy about the enemy. There's nothing easy. He doesn't talk in like these like, oh, so da-da-da-da-da. Like, no. It looks kind and friendly how he talks to you. It's so convincing and enticing the way he speaks and goes at you with your circumstances and twists things and turns things. Yeah. And if you're not aware that it is the enemy you partner with, and we allow open door after open door to allow the unprotection and not the armor of God to hold us and keep us steadfast. So when I think of someone scheming against me, like, okay, so I'm pretty good. I can handle people coming at me. I'm good with it. Like, I'm pretty reserved. I handle conflict really, like, pretty decently where I'm like, let's talk it out. We'll work it out. But it is a whole other thing when I know you're trying to come after me, when you're trying to come after my family, when you're coming after my kids, when you're coming after my church family, when you're coming after my city. That's a whole other thing. Game on. I see you. <laughs> like, oh, it's, it's over now. But here's the thing, not all of us are there at that point, and I want to get you to that point today. I want to get you to the point that you recognize that the enemy is not just like pinpointing individuals. Oh, he's coming after you. He's coming after your kids, your family, your marriages, your finances. And if you do not armor up, if you do not suit up, you will get tore up. It is a fact. And God clearly gives us in Scripture, I got you. I gave you something. Did you put it on today? Or did y'all walk out of the house naked? Did you, do you see what I, like it sounds ridiculous, but I want it to be to where you're like, oh my gosh, I did walk out the house naked. Oh shoot, I gotta go back, I forgot. Hey, thank you for watching Valley Online and it doesn't have to stop here. Join our online family and join us live every Sunday. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any new videos, live streams, and don't forget to share this with a friend. You can also support the ministry by downloading our app and click the give button so we can keep spreading the gospel around the world. Thank you so much for watching and God bless you.